As you can see, we did some basic shaping. I would call the gross shaping. Now we're getting into the finer points of beard shaping. I picked out as much as I can, and now I'm gonna get in and do some of the detail work, which is pretty much what you would see. Uh, I got rid of the, the stuff that you can see through. I always like to say, if you have a t-shirt that has graphics underneath it, if you can read the graphics, that's where I like to kind of trim the beard where it's no longer see-through. I want a solid, opaque looking beard. That's what we're going for with D.H. Waldman here. So let me just blow some of that hair off that we trimmed. Now I'm going to go in and do a little bit of detail work. Pretty much the beard trim is done, the detail work is done. I'm going to mess with it a little bit right now. And I'm going to do what I call provoking the beard. And that would be kind of mimicking the effects of a collar hitting it, or the wind as you're walking outside, or putting on a hooded sweatshirt. What does your beard do when it encounters everyday life? So let's just mess around with it a little bit. And one of the things I do is I just kind of knock it around a little bit to see what happens. Puff it out. I will see if it's equal. Smooth it out. I go underneath them out. A lot of times there's long hairs that might be coiled up in the beard and a six inch hair will be like sticking out, you know, six inches beyond the bottom of the beard. So, and you might not find that until the next day. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. I have to, I feel some loose hairs that I know on the uncoil are going to be sticking out and I don't want to have my guests to have to tuck hairs back in or attack things with scissors in a day or two because always the next day is what really proves a haircut or the beard is after a night of sleep after a shower so we're doing okay with that so far hold tight and we're gonna wrap it up so I'm wrapping up my time with David Waldman of the Waldman Method, world-renowned hair designer, beard sculptor, educator. And the very last thing I'm going to do is kind of bevel the beard. What I don't want the beard to have is like the bottom looking like a broom. We don't want that. So I want to create a little character that is evident from every angle, whether I'm looking at him from behind or the side. If the hair just comes down and ends, it's no different than a broom. We don't want that. So the last thing I'm going to do is, and I'll show you the side view. I'm using the cordless wall magic clip. These are great. I'll put a link down below where you can get these. It's my favorite clipper. They're lithium ion. They're incredible. Had to put that plug in there. So I'm looking to create an arc that starts here and ends here. So I'm literally just curving, curving, curving. So what I'm not doing is just going boom, 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 like that. It's kind of a, it's like the beard version of using a router. And you have to do this with big beards in order to make them look civilized. So now we are finished with David Waldman's beard. Beveled, trimmed, groomed. Let me grab a quick black towel so you can see. Take a look at it. I provoked it, tricked it out a little bit. It's looking good. This was the desired effect. Turn towards the side there. Okay, turn back the other side. Look over here. Excellent. Very good. That is how you trim a big beard. Now, the interesting thing about this beard is that it's very curly, and you have to honor the curls. You can't try to straighten out a beard that's not straight, because I want him to be able to reproduce this type of grooming on a daily basis. 
He's in the hair industry for a living. He's a leader in the world doing certain styles of haircuts, and he's also a beard sculptor as well. And we're working on some collaborations right now and bringing some of our talents to salons as salon educators helping stylists learn how to deal with beards and not be so scared of them. So we're open to those possibilities as well. So. All right, so what do you think? I think it looks tremendous. Yeah. I'm very happy with the shape. I think you did an outstanding job. Great. As Thank always. You. Thank you. And you can follow D.H. Waldman on Instagram, and I'll put that link down below. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everyone.